Hey everybody, this is Indie Geek, and today I'm taking a look at Pivot from Fixed Point Productions. It is, uh, it's a game that's already been available on mobile, I think, for a while now, but it's made its own way over to Steam. It is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, and it will be $4.50 for the opening week sale, $5 after that. And of course, there's a link in the description straight to the Steam page. Uh, if you want it on mobile, you can just search. I believe it's on the iOS store and the Android store, but yeah, if you just search, it should be easy enough to find. Uh, with that, though, I think that I will just jump in and show you what's going on. Uh, by the way, I am playing with an Xbox 360 controller. It works fine with mouse and keyboard, works fine with Xbox 360 controller, so there is, you know, a wealth of options here on how you want to play. Uh, hopefully you can hear the music well enough. I think it does get... Oh, wow, that was actually really bad. I think it does get louder kind of off and on. So, you might hear it better in a minute, and then it kind of, you know, the volume kind of changes, which is nice. It gives um, a bit of variety. Yeah, so every time we're in this uh, background, like this greenish, bluish background, uh, the music does kick up a bit. Uh, if you can't tell what's happening here, this is like the, the main mode, I would say. Uh, and it's and the other reason I say it's the main mode is it's kind of the mode that teaches you the game, if you will. Uh, we're getting these obstacles one at a time, and then we have to dodge the obstacle three or four times to get to the next section, and then we get a section that combines all previous obstacles together. So that's kind of the the learning progression here, which I think is really good. Um, I believe the game was actually made by someone who was a music teacher, so you can kind of get a bit of that kind of feel here like where it, you know it, it just teaches you really well and you can kind of tell that there's a bit of a teaching background and I really appreciate that because it makes the game I think you know just just like available to basically anyone who tries picking it up anyone could learn how to do this um, and it's also like so say if I just like purposely died here I'm just gonna restart at that section so it's pretty forgiving as well which is nice um, and that's, of course, just because this is the main mode, right? This is not meant to be super challenging. It's meant to teach you the, the kind of obstacles that you're going to have to learn how to dodge through the rest of the game. Um, you know, the real meat of this game comes later, and we will definitely get into that. But there are, I believe, eight modes total. We can check when we're at the menu. Uh, some additions, right? The mobile version, I believe, was... $3 and there was a 99 cent DLC for one more mode um, and it was only single player. This has all of the modes plus that DLC mode but it also has up to four player local which is kind of cool. Uh, I will show off a little bit of the multiplayer although I'll be playing by myself so we won't really get like um, you know a great example of it because I'm only as good as I can possibly be playing by myself, but uh, anyways, I think we'll jump back to the main menu, and I think I will just start here. What I'm going to do is play one player with the Xbox controller and one player with the keyboard. So this is going to be a bit of a mess. I would not expect to do well, but I do want to just show off how it works. So, okay. Now I can just focus and show you basically what happens when one person's out. So, there it is, and now I'm back in. And that, that's all it is. Um, pretty cool, though. does make it for kind of a nice local um, kind of party game, if you will. And I think that is really nice. You know, it's it's not competitive, as far as I can tell, like at all, which is cool. I, I definitely like... I, I think I'm more attracted to multiplayer games that aren't necessarily competitive and are kind of a work together kind of thing, you know, Spelunky, things like that. And this kind of does remind me of, of like how Spelunky multiplayer works, because if one player dies, the other can bring that player back, which I think is really cool. Oh, so there you go, you know, it does give you, um, it does give you like some stats so you can pseudo play competitively if you want. Uh, let's start going over some other modes, though. This has been a mode that has been very addictive for me. Um, I guess, like, the other thing that I could say this game really has is if you have played Super Hexagon, you are going to like this a lot. Because Super Hexagon has, has that kind of, like, 
there's the main mode, and once you beat the main mode, there's just like more and more to do, and it just gets harder and harder, and you eventually get addicted and just spend like way too much time playing. I have already spent way too much time playing this game. Like, it's gonna be one that in my free time I'm just gonna be playing a lot because it quickly gets addicting. So the way this one works is that it will go on forever. I believe it's like a 50 second rotation for the obstacles. So in this mode, it is the same obstacles every time. That doesn't necessarily make it easy. Um, but it also just gets faster and faster every time our ring there fills up. So now it'll be a little bit faster. I'd actually be really cool if I could pass 100 seconds, yeah. Um, you have to pass 100 seconds and that will unlock another mode. Um, so there are two modes I haven't unlocked. Expert Endless, which you have to pass 100 seconds. And then if you pass 100 seconds in that, you get Berserk. So I'm not totally sure what those modes are, unfortunately. Um, oh, the other thing to note, there are leaderboards for, I believe, every mode. Uh, Looper doesn't have multiplayer, that's the only one. But, I do want to show off Looper real quick. This is actually a pretty cool mode, so... We get points by completing full circles. And, and it definitely changes things up um, from, from the rest of the game, because the obstacles are, are totally different from anything else. Oh man. Wow, I'm actually doing better than I expected here. I have not spent too much time on this mode. I've, I've been kind of addicted to the um, endless mode. Uh, yeah, you know, this game really just gets a lot of stuff right, though. I mean, now that we've kind of gone over the basic overview of what's in the game, I kind of want to start getting into what I like. Uh, and I would say what I don't like, but there really isn't anything that I don't like. So, wow, I just kind of went for it there. I'm actually going to go back and just start playing some some more Endless. Um, random Endless works like Endless, except it's not a pattern, and Random Expert Endless has the Expert Voyage options, and actually maybe I'll just jump into Expert Voyage and we can find out some more of the obstacles. Um, I haven't really played this mode yet much, so we're still kind of learning these obstacles, and I guess you'll get to see a bit of the learning process here, which I think is, is cool. I think for me that's one of the more interesting parts of like the game design here, is just the way that the, the whole learning process is handled to kind of, you know, ease in players into each obstacle. And I think it's it's just really, really smart how it's done. I definitely appreciate that. Sorry, I'm just trying to dodge these a little bit. There we go. Um, yeah, let's see. From the gameplay standpoint, I mean, like I said, totally addicting. Um, I've already spent like a good hour on it, and I'm sure that I will spend more time on it. Uh, other things, it, you know, I mean, that, that's the thing, it's, it's just a really, really good, fun game. Like, I absolutely think that you should pick this up. Price is good, and it's definitely got that super hexagon kind of feel to it. You know, you will spend a lot of time with this, you will occasionally get mad when you get close to unlocking something or get close to setting a high score and lose, but, you know, it's it's got that that kind of, like, one more play nature to it, especially because it's so quick and so easy, like you've seen, to just get right back into the game. You know, I'd say, like, good games to, to compare are, like, like I said, Spelunky. Like, it's definitely got that you can immediately jump back in and keep playing. And that is so important for a game like this, because if it takes any time at all, you are going to hesitate and consider not, you know, continuing your play session. But I find that this is really easy to just play, like, way longer than I was intending to, because it, it really is addicting. And it really is easy to fall into that one more play, one more play kind of trap. But that's always a good sign for a game. I always consider that a pretty strong point if a game's got me doing that. Man, I cannot parse these things. Um, and I think that's that's like a lot of the fun of it, is that more so than other games like this, this is way, way more pattern-based. So you can actually 
actually really improve and really get better because the patterns are pretty obvious you know like you you just have to learn how to dodge each thing and whoa, okay this is interesting um wow I, these are kind of crazy because it actually takes quite a bit of time for each one but you know once once you've learned the pattern you can just practice at getting better at the game and I think that that's really important is that it's got uh, pretty easy to learn patterns that anyone's gonna be able to pick up and start understanding right away uh, from a visual perspective I think it's beautiful you know it's really kind of minimalistic but I think that plays well into the game and lets you just focus on what you're doing um, you know I never feel lost in it even though I'm like the same color as any of the action that's going on because it's just pretty obvious like where we are so I think that from from a visual perspective and from a you know visual design perspective it all works really well all of it feels really coherent um, and you know it's just just pretty to look at I imagine that this also looks great on mobile which I think is just kind of an added bonus that it works really well on both what is this um, Wow, I don't even know how I did that. Can I do it again? Apparently not. I'm not sure if I really understand this one. Let's see if I can figure it out, though. Oh, well that worked. I don't know if that's the intended way of doing it. Ah, it works for me. Alright, I guess... Oh, well, except there. Okay. Um, wow, yeah, I'm pretty bad at this one. Oh, that was obviously wrong. I might actually jump out and do some more endless. Like I said, that I think is my favorite mode. Doing that endless. I think it's because there's... Um, kind of a more long-form goal to this one. You know, like, with Voyage, I think it's cool because you definitely get to learn how the obstacles work. Uh, but with endless, I feel like I'm going for a goal and kind of getting proficiency at at least at the regular voyage obstacles you know and it's not like if I lose I'm just gonna start five seconds earlier if you lose you could lose at 93 seconds which is like my high score so you know that's definitely kind of a big hit but you also feel like you're really gaining progress when you can manage to beat that wow you're just kind of zoning out there um, and I guess like the last big aspect of the game is the music which is also really really good. I actually really love the soundtrack to this and I'm having a great time uh, just listening to the music. I love uh, in the voyage mode the changes in like volume and kind of intensity I guess you could say. I, I couldn't notice um, I guess because I was a little wrapped up and trying not to lose but I didn't notice if the, the song actually changes or not. I think it does. I think it kind of adds some more percussion stuff when we get to this kind of section. Obviously in Endless we only hear this part, but yeah, I think it, that's a really nice effect, and overall I think the music is just really, really good. It's a good soundtrack, um, and it certainly fits in with the gameplay here. I would think so. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I really need to say. I'm not sure. I think I might have everything pretty much covered there. I mean, overall, like, this is just a, a super fun game. I'm kind of sad that I didn't play it on mobile before. Because uh, it's really, really fun. I'm, I'm loving it. I think that I'm going to be playing a lot of it in my free time. Oh, 83 seconds. That hurts. We were pretty darn close there. I think I'll give one more shot here as we kind of wrap up. But yeah, I think if you are looking for you know, a nice little kind of addicting experience that will, I guarantee it, take away a lot of your time. Uh, I think this is a pretty obvious pickup. You know, $5, uh, definitely, definitely worth it. All three uh, computer platforms, which is really nice, plus mobile if you'd rather play it on the go. Like, this game has got a lot of options to play, which I think is really smart. Uh, works with a controller. This mode has multiplayer, so if you've got a friend that you want to play with, you can do that. And in some ways, that makes the game a little easier, which is cool. 
but yeah, I think that overall it's just, uh, you know, it's it's the full package, right? Looks great, sounds great, plays great. I can wholeheartedly give this a very, very positive uh, recommendation here. I would say that this is a game that everyone should own because I think you don't necessarily have to like a certain genre to like this. I think this is pretty much for everyone. So I think that is uh, where we're going to wrap up today. But don't forget that I will have the link in the description, and I do encourage you to check that out. Go pick this up. But uh, other than that, if you feel like commenting, feel free to do that if there's anything that you want to comment about. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos from me every single day. And of course, if you liked my look at Pivot, then please do consider clicking the like button. But with that, I thank you as always for watching, and I will see you next time.